well to finish uh finish my story about the night uh performing with the dashboard saviors which was my last night ever performing as a vocalist uh we were in a very small venue everybody sitting down and uh, i did a couple of songs that we had done as morning glory sang those songs with the guys they were very gracious to ask me to do so uh, at the end of the performance, uh, Mike Gibson, the guitar player, laughed and said it was the first time he'd ever seen me perform sitting down, which was probably the truth, and surprised that I could stay in the chair the whole time. At the end of the performance, uh, some young lady uh, came up to me and she started telling me that I reminded her of Joe Strummer. Well, I'll tell you what, I really, at that point, felt like kissing the lady. And for me, I guess that was a fitting way for uh, my experience as a lead vocalist to, to end this album. Sandinista profoundly affected me. And as I've said with the uh, lyrics, with the anthems, uh, something that lyrically I brought to, to Morning Glory as a writer. And... Um, Well, unfortunately, it was just not a good time for this album to come out. I don't know if there ever would have been a good time. But what I see here in this album is a band that creativity, creativ creatively was growing at a much too fast pace as far as for them to humanly keep up in the studio. So, a lot of the songs feel a little bit half-baked but lord knows the passion's there the dreams are there and it just stretched the boundaries of where punk could go beyond what anybody thought as i said before i tried to bring this down to what would be one album on vinyl 47 minutes a lot of cuts i left off here uh lose the skin one that comes to mind, Ivan Meets G.I. Joe. Just a, a lot of the dub experiments left off of this, but I just uh, felt compelled to bring it down to 12 cuts, what would be on one LP. Hope you enjoyed it. I know that there's some songs probably left off that you, if you're familiar with the album, may have wished to have heard, and others that you may dismiss, but like I always say, grab a keeper, leave a comment, keep coming back. A little bit out of my water on this one, out of my comfort zone on this one. Um, but it was just something that I felt deeply about wanting to try to do. So don't hold anything against me. I love The Clash, love Joe Strummer, Mick Jones, Topperhead, and Paul Simonone. They're my, they were my band. Strummer. <laughs>